Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. Welcome to our free online lessons in mathematics, chemistry, physics, geography, biology, economics, and many other subjects. Today in mathematics, we're going to go into a new topic, and that is change of subject formula. Today we're going to see how we can use, how we can change subject of an equation or of an expression okay so let's start by using this expression for example you have supposing we have this expression k is equal to t plus 3 okay this is a relationship and that has been put into an expression k is equal to t plus 3 so each time you add 3 to the value of t you get k now in this expression we will say that k is the subject of the formula the subject of the equation on the other hand we can make t the subject of the formula therefore if k is equal to t plus 3, therefore, we can say that t is equal to k minus 3. So, anytime you subtract 3 from the value of k, you result in the value of t. And so, that is what we'll be doing today. We're going to see how you can change um, subject formula in an expression. Take for example, if f is equal to y plus p, if f is equal to y plus p, let's make p the subject of the formula. Let's make this p the subject of the formula. For you to be able to make p the subject of the formula, all you're going to do is that you're going to move y from the right hand side to the left hand side. Okay. You move y from the right hand side to the left hand side so it becomes f now as we move y from the right hand side to the left hand side it will change from plus y to minus y so it becomes f minus y is equal to p so therefore we say p is equal to f minus y so let's take example number two now let's take example two supposing we have this expression y is equal to 3m plus k y is equal to 3m plus k now let's make m the subject of the formula let's make m the subject of the formula okay now we're going to make m the subject of the formula so we have that y is equal to 3m plus k so the first thing we'll do is to move this k from the left hand sorry we move we're going to move this k from the right hand side to the left hand side so let's do that first y minus k is equal to 3m y minus k is equal to 3 we have moved k from the right hand side to the left hand side now we have our m on the right hand side so let's see let's see how we can separate these three from m want we want to have m alone so let's divide both side by three divide this side by three and divide this side by three these three we cancel these three so y minus k over over 3 over 3 is equal to m so therefore m is equal to y minus k all over 3 let's move to the next example now example 3 example 3 now if yx plus py is equal to t now let's make y the subject of the formula let's make y the subject let's make y the subject of this equation okay we have yx 
plus py is equal to t so we have yx here and we have py here so we have y on both side we have yx here and have py here so let's factorize y can factor out here y into x plus p therefore is equal to t so y into x plus p is equal to t right the next thing we'll do now is let's divide both side by x plus p divide both side by x plus p so let's divide this side by x plus p okay and divide this side by x plus p so this x plus p we cancel x plus p here so y therefore is equal to t over x plus p all right still in this equation let's make p the subject of the of the formula let's make p the subject of the formula all right we have we have still in the same equation yx plus py is equal to t now let's make p make p the subject make p the subject p now the subject so what we'll do is that we have yx plus py is equal to t so we have p here okay so what we do now is that py is equal to we're going to move yx from the left hand side to the right hand side so it becomes t minus yx okay now divide both side by y divide both side by y divide this side by y and divide this side by y y we cancel y so p is equal to t minus yx all over y all right let's go to example number four now all right example number four says that you have p is equal to the square root of m plus z all over m into one plus all right into m one plus m z okay so we're going to make we're going to make z make z the subject of this equation make z the subject of this equation okay now we have p is equal to the square root of all these all these m plus z over m into bracket one plus mz okay now the first thing we do is to remove this root sign we're going to remove this root sign and if you have to remove this root sign it means that the right hand side instead of having p will now have p square okay once you remove this root sign then the left hand side will become squared okay now it's equal to m plus z all over m into one plus m z okay so the next thing we'll do is to multiply the numerator on the right hand side out so you now have p square is equal to m plus z all over m times one is equal to m m times m is equal to m square and z okay so now you cross multiply you have p you're going to cross multiply you multiply this by this okay and you multiply this by this okay so you now have p square into m plus m square z bracket close is equal to m plus z okay all right now we're going to multiply the bracket out out now p square times m will give you p square m now p square times m square z is going to be plus p square m square z okay is equal to m plus z okay now 
Now we're going to make z the subject of the equation. So we're going to bring the z together. Okay, so now p square, p square m is equal to m plus z plus p square m square z. Okay, now what I've done now is that I have moved this this p square m square z to the right hand side okay now i'm going to move this m from the right hand side to the left hand side okay so it's going to become p square m minus m is equal to z plus p square m square z okay so now we are going to we can factorize this one as we can factorize it as m outside then you have p square in the bracket minus one okay and also we can factorize this as z outside the bracket one plus p square in the bracket m square in the bracket okay now we have our z here now divide both sides by 1 plus p square m square. So I'm going to divide this side by 1 plus p square. This is plus p square m square. And I will divide this side also by 1 plus p square m square. So this, we cancel this. And then finally, finally, m p square minus 1 all over 1 plus p square m square is equal to z all right example number five now example five example five says that b is equal to d this is d all over the square root of w square plus x d square okay so in this equation we're going to make d the subject make d the subject okay we're going to make d the subject of this equation all right so the first thing we're going to do let me write out this equation so b is equal to d all over square root of w square plus x d square so this is same as writing b over one all right you can see now that we have d we're making d the subject of the we're making d the subject of the equation and we have d here we also have d here so the next thing we'll do now we're going to cross multiply multiply b by this denominator and multiply d by this denominator okay so if you multiply b by this denominator you have b multiplied by the square root of w square plus x d square okay and it's equal to this d multiplied by one is equal to d okay so now we have b multiplying let me remove the multiplication sign square plus x d square is equal to d so remember we're making d the subject of this equation okay we're making d the subject of this, of this equation so the next thing we'll do now is that let's divide both sides by b let's divide both sides by b so it's going to be b square root of w square plus x d square divided by b is equal to d divided by b so that this b we cancel this b and finally you now have the square root of of w square plus x d square is equal to d over b the next thing we'll do now is let's remove this square root sign from here and to remove this square root sign from here it therefore means that we're going to make this side square so if we we'll say w square plus x so w square plus x d square is equal to d over b 
all these nouns square. Once you remove this square root sign, then all the items on the right hand side become square. Once you remove the square root sign from here, then all the items, all the elements on the right hand side become square. Alright, so we now have w square plus xd square is equal to these signals writing d square all over b square. So let's cross multiply these, these signals writing all these over 1. Okay, so we now have w square plus x d square all over 1 is equal to d square all over b square. Alright, let's cross multiply now. We now have b square We'll multiply all these. We now have into w square plus x d square is equal to d square because d square times 1 will give you d square. All right, so we're now going to multiply all these out. We now have b square multiplied by w square will give you the b square w square plus b square x d square is equal to d square. Okay, and we are going to make d, d the subject of the equation. So we're going to bring all the d's together. So we have d here, we have d here. So let me move this to the right hand side. So it's going to be b square, w square is equal to d square minus b square x d square. Okay, so b square, w square is equal to we can factorize this d into 1 minus b square x. Okay, you have d square outside here and then you close the bracket. So if you multiply this by this, you have this. If you multiply this by this, you have all this. So divide both sides by 1 b square w square divided by 1 minus b square x is equal to d square 1 minus b square x bracket all over 1 minus b square x. So this we cancel this. Okay, now we have b square w square all over 1 minus b, b square x is equal to d square okay so it's equal to here yeah? so to get the value of d all you have to do is to put all these in the square root so you now have b square w square all over 1 minus b square x all this in a square root is equal to d so that is it. We've come to the end of today's lesson. Thank you very much for learning from us. If you like this video and you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.